Hey guys, this is Jamie with PC Monkey, uh, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to swap out your hard drive and your RAM on an Acer Aspire ES1-572 series computer. Uh, if it's gone bad and you need to replace it or if you just want to upgrade. Um, so check out the, the description down below. Uh, we have related video links. Also, we keep a list of frequently asked questions that people ask on the video after it's posted. Uh, that way we can get you those answers right away instead of having to have you comment and, and, and wait for an answer. Uh, if you do have any questions, leave a comment. We try to get back to you at least a couple times a day. So uh, first we're going to flip the computer over. You have this nice little access panel here. I'm going to take out the screws in that. This computer is really easy to do this with. Which is kind of nice instead of having to get into the computer like crazy, just take off the panel. You take that door off and voila, there's your RAM and there's your hard drive. Let me zoom in for you. So you have two RAM slots and if you've done this before, you know how RAM is, is, is held in there. There are two little spring-loaded arms on each side. So what you want to do to take the RAM out is just gently pry those arms away and the, and the RAM should just pop up. See? And then you slide the RAM out. Same thing on this one. Uh, if you want to know uh, how to be sure you're buying the right kind of RAM for your computer, check out the description below. Uh, because just because it physically fits doesn't mean that it's compatible with your computer. So we have a video showing you how to, how to read and interpret these numbers here to know which kind of RAM you need. Then when you have the RAM you're placing it with, just make sure it's inserted correctly. It'll only fit this way. It, it, it won't fit this way. So put that in there. Once it's secure, just press down and it locks in. Same thing with the other one. You have a long side and a short side, so it's only got to go in one way. Press it in, press down, it locks in. So that's how you would do your RAM. Over here you have your hard drive held in by a caddy, a little rubber caddy. So we'll pry this out, slide it away. There we go. And the caddy comes out, and there's your hard drive. Hard drives are usually held inside caddies, um, either plastic or metal. Um, but you would take this off, or if your caddy it's screwed in, it could possibly be screwed in on, on the sides. And then you would take your hard drive and you would replace it. Put this back on. This one doesn't even screw in, it just kind of snaps into place. Make sure the orientation is right again, a long side and a short side. Get that down in there. This one's really snug, and then slide it in. So it's kind of easy in this computer. It's really easily accessed. Um, again, if you need any help finding the correct RAM, finding the correct hard drive, this is a SATA drive, S-A-T-A, 2.5 inch, um, and then again, 500 gigabyte, 320, 750, whatever, uh, whatever you want to get. But SATA connection, 2.5 inch, and then make sure that it's a, a laptop one. Uh, sometimes people accidentally buy the server ones and those are a little thicker. Uh, but yeah, if this was helpful, please like and share. Uh, if you enjoyed do-it-yourself laptop repair, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.